So this next question is from Larry, and, it, and he, Larry's asking, what is hyperbaric medicine, and why is it part of the wound center? And uh, it's a great question. Hyperbaric medicine is a form of placing patients inside of an oxygenated chamber where we can provide high concentration of oxygen. We all know that oxygen is part of the air that we breathe, and so if we can increase that oxygen in our tissues and get it to an area where tiny little blood vessels that are diseased or vessels that are unfortunately not reconstructable by Dr. Jackson, for example, uh, it can help improve the wound healing process. It can certainly help facilitate better uh, tissue and nutrients getting to that area because we need oxygen carrying cells to bring those nutrients to the wound. And a lot of these wounds are plagued with the smallest blood vessels that are very, very, very tiny, almost microscopic, that we just physically cannot do anything surgically to fix. Uh, hyperbaric helps in that fashion. You know, hyperbaric oxygen, and that is not my specialty by any means, but we do have a whole dedicated team of hyperbaric medicine physicians, and they're certainly equipped to handle patients with multiple medical problems, even claustrophobia. Here at Penn, we have the largest center that has the largest hyperbaric oxygen chamber. So if you think of a submarine tank, for example, um, it's very large. It's probably as large as a living room of some homes. And so you sit there, there's a, there's a TV, there's a chair. You have to have your eyes and ears evaluated, which we also facilitate at our center to make sure that the pressure from the concentration of oxygen doesn't disrupt any underlying ear or eye problems that you may have. And it's a great adjunct as Dr. Jackson alluded to earlier, for wound healing, we certainly offer it very aggressively in settings where patients have been plagued with these wounds or just not candidates for major reconstructive surgery for a lot of risk factors that you may or may not have. The other interesting thing about hyperbaric um, oxygen therapy is that it's um, really most appropriate for the patients who are kind of uh, have the worst problems. So uh, patients with diabetic wounds that have trouble healing and don't have good uh, uh, vascular supply uh, are actually one of the kind of uh, cohorts of patients that, that have been shown to benefit the most from hyperbaric oxygen therapy. Um, and the other group of patients that uh, has been demonstrated to benefit is uh, uh, patients with uh, really bad infections. So the, uh, the hyperbaric oxygen, the, the high concentration of oxygen, both uh, that you inhale and also that your wound is uh, exposed directly to, um, tends to um, uh, kill some bacteria, which can, uh, which can uh, contribute to the chronicity uh, of a wound or its inability to heal. I think at the end of the day, our goal really is, you know, we don't want the patients to be, to be plagued and burdened with a wound. Our goal really is to figure out why and then to figure out a method to, to take care of it and address it and fix it. Uh, yeah, there's a question here from Ruth. Uh, my wound is ischemic. Can, be, can it be treated with a stent? So uh, when, uh, when people develop wounds on their lower extremities or elsewhere that um, uh, don't have enough blood flow, um, they can be termed ischemic, uh, the, the, the word that Ruth used. Um, and generally, when we talk about getting more blood flow to uh, an extremity or to a wound, uh, we talk about two methods of doing that, either uh, endovascular, uh, which is minimally invasive, frequently uh, uses balloons or stents, um, or uh, open uh, surgery, old-fashioned bypass surgery. Um, and generally, at, at, at Penn, at, at our center in particular, um, we consider both options. Uh, sometimes, for example, uh, diabetic wounds of the foot, the, divin the, the definitive uh, revascularization uh, method is uh, typically considered a, uh, uh, an open bypass to the uh, lower extremity wound because uh, diabetes tends to affect the uh, small vessels, and those vessels are more easily bypassed than they are um, uh, stented or ballooned. Uh, but that said, um, I personally am an expert in, in both um, endovascular treatments and open bypass surgery, um, and we, uh, uh, all the physicians in the center, uh, kind of uh, consider uh, and uh, entertain uh, either uh, endovascular stenting operations or um, open revascularization options.